This video is about integrating NetApp storage cluster with OpenStack components. Now start the NetApp on command system manager and add the NetApp storage cluster. You can add the IP address of the storage cluster. In this example, I am adding my storage cluster which is in 192.168.1.140. So I am giving my credentials, the username is admin and the password that I have set it. Now it is added and it is in working status. Double click on the storage system and it will open up in a new browser. So you have to enter the username as admin again and the password. And you can see the overview of the storage cluster. It will show you the property, system alerts, alarms and the storage status. Expand the storage and click on disks you will see the disks which are attached to the storage cluster. Also, we have created an aggregate with the name as aggregate1 and with the RAID configurations. The vServer that we have created is named as CloudLab. It is in running status with the NFS protocol. Now expand the CloudLab and expand the storage tab. And you can click on volumes, you can see volume 1 and volume 2. Volume 1 will be used for Cinder and volume 2 will be used for Glance. Expand the policies tab from the left panel and click export policies. Check the policies whether they have proper rules added for accessibility from clients. For example, we have created a policy for NFS protocol with all permissions to everyone. Let us log into the OpenStack ISO server box and configure the cinder to work with the NetApp storage volumes. Open the cinder configuration file. The location will be etc cinder cinder.conf. Here we have added the NetApp driver details in this configuration. You can check for the NetApp NFS configuration for clustered data on tap in docs openstack.org as you can refer it from this URL. Make sure that cinder.conf has all the proper configurations and credentials to connect your NetApp on tap cluster. Also, you have to mention the junction path in NFS SHAS location. So let's save this file and create a new file in the location of etc cinder nfs underscore shares here we have to add the junction path of the volume volume one to connect with sender the ip address will be the v server ip so save the file restart the sender volume service and check the file system usage in the first run, when you run df h will return the file systems present in the system. But after the successful startup of Cinder volume, you can see the NetApp volume being mounted to the OpenStack Cinder under the path of var lib Cinder MNT in the next run. Now let's go to the location of the NetApp volume mounted to find whether it is properly mounted. As you can see there are no volumes has been created so far. So let's create a new volume with the display name as test1 and the size of 1 GB. The volume will be in creating state at, at the first time. Now let's list the cinder volumes and you can see the volume will be in avail available state. You can see the new volume is mounted to the file system. So let us check this from OpenStack Horizon. Let's enter the username and password. Let's check the project volumes. You can see the new volume created with 
the name test1 with 1 GB. Let us add the OpenStack glands with NetApp storage volumes. Let us go to the glands images storage directory. So as you can see the glands is using the OS file system to store all the images. So let us make it use NetApp volume to store the images. Now we are mounting the NetApp junction path in glance images store directory. So the command we are using to mount the volume to the glance images directory. Now check the file system disk usage and you will see the NetApp volume being mounted to the glance images directory. You can see that there are no images in var lib glance images in horizon UI under the project tab go to the images in horizon and click create an image and use the name as NetApp testing and description as testing and I am uploading an image file which is a 0s image into the glance and I'm selecting the format as QCOW. I'm making it public and I'm uploading it to the glance storage. Now it is completely uploaded and you can verify the upload is successful. Now we can test this same from the console also. So let us verify the location whether the file is uploaded. As you can see the file is already there with the same ID and also we can check it through the glance image list command to display the newly created image and it is successfully uploaded. So that's all we have for integrating the NetApp storage with OpenStack components. Thank you.